Hi everyone, good afternoon and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is the real girl 247. The video I'm going to talk about today is the video I saw on the internet where the, a pastor was kissing a girl in the mouth, in the lips. Hmm. Hey, all these pastors and their gullible members. There is a lot of abuse going on in the church. I wonder, this is why they always preach submissive, be submissive, be submissive. Imagine, out of submission, you see this woman allowing herself to be kissed by this pastor in the lips, in the mouth. Somebody that is not your family, somebody that is not your husband, is not your boyfriend, just because he has a little or crowd to control to tell what to do and to tell what not to do you will probably just allow yourself to be abused to be used by somebody that has a title called pastor for me it is a shame that in 2019 african women still put themselves in this situation like this it is a shame where by almost all, all over the world the women has always almost level up wake up from from um, abuse like this and you see african women allow themselves to be used by somebody that call himself a pastor even the congregation they all was just like this looking at what is this what is this I, even in the video one woman was even looking maybe it, it is a film trick or <laughs> maybe the pastor is trying to draw cut out of the nose with his mouth but at the end the woman saw that it was everything was in the mouth imagine all these women that is why they always preach submission be submissive because if it was a bitch a woman that don't take rubbish a woman that has standards she will not allow herself to be in that situation where a bad dirty pastor will never bath can just carry his dirty mouth and come and put on your mouth. He's asking her if the, I don't know what type of deliver, deliverance that man is doing to that lady. I don't even know. It is, it, are you okay? Are you okay? He will still put his mouth again. Are you okay? Are you okay? He will still put his mouth again. What is Africa go turning into and what is African church turning into? A place where do as I say, you don't have option to even say anything. You can just pastor can just come and tell you, I want to suck your breast and you will put your breast for him or her to suck. You people don't even think with your God giving brain, that brain that you have, that everybody have. You cannot even think with it very fast. Instead, you just submit to anybody that come around to you. I normally say that Africa, a church, any church in Africa is a place where women are abused. 
and a church is a very dangerous place for black women. It's a very dangerous place for women of color. It's the most dangerous place. If Africa wants to advance, the women have to cut that church thing down because most of them, they are all of them are in the church. Most of them, they are in the church. The little percentage that are not in the church, some of them cannot even think with their head. The ones that are in the church, those are just waste. They can't think with their brain. That is why anybody can come, come and eat grass, you see them eating grass. Come and drink petrol, you start seeing them drinking petroleum. Come and do whatsoever, you know, we just do it. It's obey before complain. So I'm so pissed off with Nigeria pastors and Africans, African pastors, the way they abuse women, the way they undermine women, and the way the women allow themselves to be used by all these so-called pastors, cheap pastors that have nothing to offer to the society apart from nonsense 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 every day we see on the internet at times we begin to question our race we begin to question africa we begin to question who really who are we really i'm so ashamed for my fellow women that still wake up every sunday you go and take a seat in the church wasting your time wasting your energy where every preaching there is targeted at women to bring women down to slow or cut the advancement of women to zero african women have to do a lot of leveling up for themselves they have to wake up from sleep many people are gone long time ago African women don't stay behind. Wake up, level up, and stay away from those churches. You can, if you are the type that pray, you can pray from your, from your home. You can pray from wherever you are. You don't need these pastors. You don't need the authority. You just have to be on your own so that you don't go through mental, physical, and psychological abuse. Because most of their preaching are based on how to bring you women down nothing more so i want to let this video be short african women wake up and stop allowing people to abuse you okay people can only do what you allow them to do to you me myself i don't go to church and i will never allow anybody to put their dirty stinking hands on my head no one does that it is not allowed because I put that policy, I'm a very principled person. I urge many of you to be principled. If any pastor try to do what you don't want to you, just disgrace them. They will come out in the internet being disgraced. It doesn't make you not to be, not to go to make to go to air fire or, or whatsoever. Disgrace them. You are a woman. Your body is for you. It's no temple of nobody. It's your body. You decide who touch it and who don't. Don't allow anybody, title or no title, to abuse you indirectly. Please, African women, I love you all. It is the real girl 247. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do subscribe and share my video. Bye-bye, everyone.